Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying something fun. This is the Indeed Labs Nano Blur Skin Blurring Cream. We've seen them using it quite a bit on the set of that new show Euphoria that everybody's freaking out about. If you're interested in seeing if this really does get rid of your wrinkles, your pores, just makes you look flawless, then just keep watching. All right guys, so thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today we're gonna to be testing a new product. This is the Nano Blur Skin Blurring Cream by Indeed Labs. Um, it just kind of blew up a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago on Instagram and TikTok all over the place where um, somebody had shared that they were using this on the set of Euphoria and it's supposed to make you look just airbrushed, flawless, no wrinkles, no pores, nothing of that sort. So I, duh, right away picked it up. So. I ordered it, I had Googled it. They had it on Amazon and through other retailers, but I bought it directly through Indeed. I think I paid around 20 bucks or something like that. Um, and it took about two weeks to get here. So the ordering was easy, the shipping, you know, not the fastest, but I just thought, you know, as soon as I get this, if it works, it's worth all of it. So, so we're gonna test it today. If you're new here, welcome so much. My name is Yadi. I love to talk about makeup skincare sometimes we do a makeup and chill make sure and subscribe if you're into colorful eyeshadow foundations we're starting up our makeup and chill live stream series where we bring on creators and brands so you don't want to miss that so if you're interested make sure and subscribe go follow me on instagram and twitter well we have a lot of fun we just talk about makeup tag each other on new releases things like that so without further ado let's get into it Okay, so this product was just way too interesting for me. I am 41. I struggle with fine lines around the eyes, also enlarged pores because I have oily skin. And so when I saw the claims on this product, I was like, I absolutely have to have it. Essentially what it is, it's a cream primer that's primarily made of dimethicone and some glycerin so it will be a little bit hydrating but it's supposed to blur everything and provide like the perfect canvas for makeup application there's two ways to use this product you can use it oh it says over your moisturizer and spf and then go in with this as a primer to really prep the skin for makeup or you can also use it on top of makeup so during the day if you get a little oily if you want a little bit more blurring maybe you're looking a little tired it's been a long day you can go in with a little bit of this product around the crow's feet area or even over the nose and pores area to instantly blur again today we are going to be using it both ways actually i'm going to go ahead and use it right now as a prep for my makeup and then i'll come back several hours later and we'll use it over our makeup over our foundation to see if it does provide an additional layer of blurring um, throughout the day if we need it so, I mean, if it works, that's great. It sounds like it would be perfect for on the set, right? They're on set for many, many hours, and sometimes you just need a little bit more help to extend the life of the makeup. So let's go ahead and try it. Also, as with all my videos, I will link this down below. Some of the links below are affiliate links. I do make a small commission if you use those, so I thank you so much if you do. But all the information will be included down below. All right, so you get one fluid ounce and it looks like this. It's got a little seal and that's what the product looks like. It feels like a really light, lightweight gel moisturizer, which for people with oily skin is a really good thing. I'm just going to start in the T-zone. It's definitely not like a pore filling primer, but instantly I can already start to see it's mattifying this area a little bit, causing those pores to blur just a tiny little bit. Okay, I'm working it into the rest of the face, but I'm already seeing that the pore area is being blurred. Not in a pore filling way, I don't know how to explain it, and it's getting a little tacky. Um, it just looks like they're kind of diminishing. Let me see if I can pull in closer so you can see. Okay, so if you can see there, I still have pores, but it is nothing compared to what I actually have on my face. Just take my word for it. I have really large pores because I have really oily skin. So it feels a little tacky like it would, like that uncomfortable tackiness like an SPF, uh, but nothing crazy. 
Wow, I'm getting really, really excited. Let me go off camera to give this about five minutes or so. I'm gonna put on my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about five to seven minutes and you guys, it's still tacky. I can still feel it, but oh my goodness, like my skin just gets more and more blurred. I am as close as I can get, you guys. I just feel like pores right there, I can't see anymore and in person, this is a very high definition lens that I'm on. In person, it's even more blurred than what you guys see. So the camera's even picking up on a little bit more. I am so excited. Um, the tackiness did not go away, which is great because that's what you want when applying foundation. You want a tacky base to really grip onto the foundation. So let's go ahead and apply foundation on camera and then I'll come back with a full face of makeup so that you can see the final look. I'm gonna go in with something basic. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Blur Skin Tint. Um, and it's not the most coverage, which is why I wanted to use this one um, to really see like, is the foundation doing the work or is this nano blur doing the work, okay? So I'll just kind of go in with my fingers. This is how I normally apply this product. So it's definitely tacky to the point where I'm having to work the product in um, this is pretty fluid of a tint so it's not as hard to kind of work it in but that's what I'm excited about because this means that my foundation is not going to move it's not going to go anywhere Wow I know I'm supposed to be showing you guys on camera, but I just can't get over how it looks in person. Okay, so this is pretty funny. So I have really large pores on my nose and I try to exfoliate regularly, but um, there's some pores that you can sort of see, but there, there's little spots on my nose that are completely blurred, completely, which never happens. So that's pretty nuts. I have some pores here in the forehead area here, which now I cannot see. It must be also the glycerin in this product. Like it feels hydrating, but not oily. I mean, it feels like it instantly sunk into the skin, but I don't know. It just feels like a really nice, like, velvety base or marshmallow base. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to call it, but. Okay, so that went on flawlessly. Let me see if I turn down my lights, if it will help. I want you to really see the skin. Okay, so there's like the closest I can get, but look at, you can still see a little bit of the pores, but compared to how they normally look, it's just crazy. Also, you guys, I have pretty bad like crow's feet here. They're pretty much gone, they're gone. I have like lines here, which I always have those creases, but I'm looking here and I'm like, whoa. It's like it filled it in. You can see the pores a little bit, but not as typical. Got a little friend there. That looks super, super good. Let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, guys, and I'm back with a full face of makeup. So uh, the foundation went on really, really nice. Everything was perfect. Um, I am seeing my pores on my nose kind of peek through a little bit. So we're gonna keep an eye on that because I normally don't have that happen with this blur tint and with my normal primers. So I'll just keep an eye on that. Um, everything else, looks nice i will also say that i was testing out the um fenty beauty um some stalker bronzer palette and on this side it went on a little patchy i don't believe it was the nano blur only because the skin tint went on really well and then i had set my whole face with powder so i don't think that that's what it was um, but i just want to point that out so what we're going to do now is we're going to give it a few hours maybe four to five hours i'll come back and um, we will try this over makeup to see if it also blurs over makeup, if it mattifies and just provides a flawless appearance, just like it says. 
So I'll be back in just one second. Okay, it's been about five, actually about six hours, and I'm definitely looking a little dewy, definitely um, have oil that has peeked through. So let's try and use the Nano Blur to see if that mattifies. Kind of thinking like, should I blot or should I not? Let's not, let's not blot. Let's just do it over this to see if that's truly like the touch up that we need when we're on the go. So let's go ahead and just take a little bit of product on my hand. That's probably too much. I did want to say that like a little bit goes a long way. So just uh, let me pull you in. Okay, you can see how oily and how dewy I am. So let's do this real time. I'm gonna just grab it on my finger. Not sure if I should do my finger or a brush, but I'll just, my hands are clean. So I'm going to put the product there. Okay, so I don't think it's picking up my product that I have on, so that's great. But look, it instantly blurred and made it matte. It mattified it. Do you see that there? So, and it, it's becoming tacky again. So I don't have product on my finger. I'm going to now do this part here. I'm going to just use this to put it on. Do you see how it instantly mattified me and blurred me up there? Wow. That is insane. I'm looking very closely to see if it moved any of my foundation or anything and I don't see where it moved anything. I'm instantly mattified, instantly blurred. Woo. Yeah, love it, love it. Wow. I'm gonna put a picture up here of when I had just come on camera this check-in time to see what I look like, but look at that instantly mattified and instantly blurred like in person i see no you know as you get oily like pores start to show through nothing everything is completely blurred wow all right final thoughts this thing retails for 20 25 dollars i bought it through indeed i think you can buy it through amazon i'll link it down below i like it i can see why they use this on set to just touch up and to keep all the stars from euphoria nice and flawless for their shoots so, yep, I give this an A++. I absolutely love it. I think that this will be great during the summer because it really does mattify and it just blurs and it kind of keeps things in check. So, very, very excited. I love it. What do you think? Have you tried it? Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. Bye!